Hello YouTube, this is Pinstar, and this is Strategy and Tactics for Banished, episode 16, the sweet 16 here. In our last episode, we are beginning the start of a very aggressive expansion push uh, with the aid of 20 brand new nomads that have recently joined our fair city. And we have managed to find homes for everyone, so much so that I've also decided to do our renovation project. And yeah, you're getting the kicked out of your house if you're just being a single there. Okay, so let us uh, let us resume here. Now we are starting to make use of our boarding house here to hold all of our temporary people. Hopefully uh, we get some of our houses upgraded, otherwise I'll turn them back if it starts turning to winter, because I do not want to sacrifice our population for the sake of uh, of uh, upgrading uh, if I don't want them to freeze to death because of that. Okay, so uh, we got our first pasture built here and I think I'm going to make some more chickens. Split up our chickens here. That's Those are not chickens. Those are chickens. Um, so that if we get a chicken blight we have chickens in two different geographical locations and uh, they will not all die. Oh yeah, and since we just added that, we can get another couple of herdsmen. Actually, we do not need two herdsmen, because we only need one herdsman for this particular... There we go. Perfect. And another trading post. Whew. Oh, hey, there's our bean seeds, and we didn't even have to pay a premium for them. All right then. Well, here's our 625 firewood. So there's that. And let's see what else. Uh, see what our ale can buy for us, since we've almost fully restocked it. Uh, such good trading power on uh, on that ale. Ooh, hey, we need the leather. Yes, we do. Since since we've outpaced our uh, ability to, uh, I should add that to my purchasing orders. Uh, since we have outpaced our ability to produce, at least until our cow herds get uh, get up to speed. Um, okay, so we still have plenty of good stuff. We don't need wool coats. Um, iron, yes, iron, yes, I do want 100 iron, please. Thank you. Uh, all right, we got our bean seeds. And why as well, uh, might as well get some stuff, uh, some other stuff that we can eat for food diversity. I do not believe we have any pears to our name, so we will be purchasing 1,000 of those. I I don't think we've eaten potatoes since the storage cart at the beginning of the day. And I don't think we actually have chestnuts to munch on, so buy the rest of those. Boom. And let's place some orders with Shribinli here. We want, well, we don't need to order, worry about ordering seeds anymore. Uh, keep bringing that iron. Keep bringing that leather, because that'll give us plenty of uh, uh, fodder to make coats with. Not that we're at a loss for coats. Uh, I should probably start trading away some of ours, uh, adding that to our uh, steel tool stone. And that should, uh, that should hold us pretty well. Okay. Thank you, uh, Shabinli. Off you go. And while I am at it, let me uh, let me add another trader in this. So this uh, I'm going to add an extra trader to both of my ports now that I'm uh, starting to ramp up the amount of trade volume that we're doing here. Uh, and each of you are going to get uh, some high, uh, warm coats to trade with. Uh, I say a hundred each. Fishing dock. I don't need another one of those. And warm coat, 100. Am I producing anything else in excess? Well, tools, but I'm buying those. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And my food's still going up, and I keep buying it. Um, so yeah, actually, I'm gonna increase yours to 1250s, just so I have the full gambit of purchasing power here. And um, what are my? What are you guys for? You still? I'm still drowning in walnuts. So why don't you carry two thousand walnuts 
just so I can trade those bad boys away. All right, and yeah, let's let's get two more of those traders in there just so they can be a little bit more efficient. And yeah, our market's about to explode. I might make another market down here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Wait, that's a trading post. That's a market. Okay, and where am I going to put you? I put you right here. Yeah, that looks like a pretty sensible coverage area. There we go. All right, Big McLarge Field. And... I think it will be good for cattle if our cattle herd here is large enough to split it, which is not. Uh, another. Yeah, you know what? We're going to empty out the cattle from this pasture and empty it into the big pasture. Um, so that way, that pasture, they have more room to grow there, and then once... Uh, once, once the cows reach a herd size of ten, we'll have um, we'll be able to split them back into this little pasture up here. And I could probably go for another thing of sheep. Oh yeah, so you get peaches, you get cherries. Yeah, I'm gonna just alternate peach, cherry, peach, cherry, and just make it all the hooch. And we're going to have one worker extra here. And to add to that, uh, let's add a, let's add another tavern here. Get a local supply. And this is going to be our peach ale uh, producer. Oh, we have a little gap in here. Might as well road it up. Oh, actually, a couple of, couple of spaces gap. Ooh, can I squeeze a... Uh, let me see if I can squeeze. Yes, I probably can. Yes, I can squeeze a well in there. Let's squeeze a well in there. Look at all these people graduating. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's get a couple more farmers in here. Yep, one of one, one of one. Good. Probably want to add a uh, stockpile around here just to collect the miscellaneous. No, where do I want a stockpile? Let's get our road drawing here. That way I don't pen myself in. Stockpile. Good old 6x6. Six six. And make it 7x6 six to fit the road. There we are. Alright, continue on. Uh, we, are, we have run dry of stone. Hopefully you will uh, remedy that. Oh, yes, you will. Thank you, uh, Mr. Merchant. Um, yeah, I'll, buy, I'll keep buying the iron, even though I don't really need it that much, but yeah. Another 350. Good. Trade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take iron off of the orders. Off you go. Oh yeah, and with our with our glut of builders here, let's get uh, let's get our stone cutters back to being maxed out, so we have our own supply of stone coming in, and then as we get more and more people graduating, we'll add them back to the ranks of. Uh, all right, we got these. So we did peaches, cherries, peaches, cherries, and we need to poach two. 
from here to add to our farmers there. Oh yeah, and our bean fields. Well, we'll we'll get our builders back up to speed before we. Uh... Yes, yes, our reserve of stone is low. We, we got our shipment of it, and we are using it almost immediately, and that's fine. Got plenty of firewood, plenty of coal. Our tools are strong. Our coats are extremely strong. Our alcohol is nice and strong, but that's uh, good for a different reason. Good and tutti-frutti there. Oops. All right, well, no more, no more builders, but we still have... Plenty of work to do. Yeah, we are abusing the ever-living heck out of this. Hopefully our uh, our resource merchants step it up so that by the time this thing empties itself out, we, uh, we don't need to build another one to keep our stone supply going. Yep, more laborers. All right, stone cutters are maxed. I got our chapel building. Now, in terms of the chapel, um, I'm not really... Uh, I, I saved it for this for this late for a reason. I mean, there's really not a lot of need, at, at least in Ficklewood, for... Uh, sheesh. Um, for uh, chapels, um, if only because I have no real desire to build a... Uh, uh, cemetery because it is it uses up a lot of stone and it takes up a lot of space. And I see a lot of people running behind my uh, thing here, but I can't make a shortcut. At least, well, I can make a shortcut. All right, fine. You people want a shortcut? You can get yourself a shortcut. You know what I could do is just make a, uh, a big old tunnel here. Not that I have the... Oh, what the hey, we'll do it in the name of efficiency. That's going to be one big-ass tunnel. <laughs> Jeez. 256 stone? Yeah, why not? You only live once. Ugh. I need to edit that out. I can't believe I just said that. My apologies. There. And now we'll really not have any stone for a while. But once again, we've got more. Uh, we got more traders en route, and we're teaching them that we like the stone. And we've got our stone cutters maxed out. And we've got all this loose stone. Handy that. Yeah, if we have any uh, any idlers that are busy, we will uh, we will have something to for them to do. Now that we've expanded our operations, we can absolutely have uh, we can actually absolutely expand our uh, uh, research surface resource collection. Is what I've been meaning to say. And yep, you guys are hammer swinging that up. Got seven new cows. We got we got some chickens in need of slaughtering, and our schmeepings are uh, doing just fine. Stone is low. Yes, I wonder why. Hey, you got this glut of stone over here too. So yeah, lots of uh, stone income, lots of stone outpouring. Speaking of incoming and outpouring, all right, our um, our produced is actually still a little little behind uh, our used, even after we turned everything back on. Um, so yeah. What we have the we have we've got a stockpile of food, but we're gonna want to actually put more more food buildings down, or we could just 
get visited by the insane food merchant of doom? Holy crap! All right, Mr. Mr. Uh, food merchant. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to burn my uh, firewood for just for food stuffs, but I do like I do I'm liking those plums. And I need the Oh yeah, I can't I can't even afford to All right, fine. We'll just buy plums. 1869. And yeah. And actually, I think I'm done uh, poaching my mushrooms. Oh. Am I am I still swimming in mushrooms? Betcha I'm not. So let's uh, let's give the mushrooms a break. That way, I can have them on hand for for stockpiling and give them a chance to catch up with the other uh, more valuable goods. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got that going here. That wooden house is still being worked on. Oh yeah, we got a, we need a uh, a church dude, cleric. How's this thing doing? This thing's good and balanced. Good. How's this doing? Four more hammer swings. Bingo! And let's get ourselves a vendor. Boom! All right. Oh yeah, let me uh, probably need to tell these things to knock it off with having that many vendors. Oh yeah, let me just tell you to be one. And tell you to just be one. I could see that if you have a market that's serving, like, literally the entire map, you might need 12 guys on there just to keep it supplied, but if you're building more than one market, I don't really see the need for that many, uh, that many guys. Alright, got another trader coming in here. What do you have for me? You have... Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad you guys are well stocked. Because, yeah, I am buying the ever-living heck out of... I'm going to attempt to buy the ever-living heck out of that. Uh, we are pulling out all the stops for this. That'll get a tunnel built and then some. Get that. Get those walnuts out of here. I might be able to make it happen. Sheesh. Wow, I made it happen and then some. Well, since we are, uh, oops, yeah, we got plenty of steel tools, but there's not enough space. All right, you know what? I'll overpay. Uh, yeah, that's one of the other problems. You start running into space issues. Okay. Let's uh, let's define ourselves a nice little stockpile, uh, because otherwise that stockpile is just going to be exploded. Seven by seven, and let's prioritize this beast, because holy cow. Yeah, that's going to... Uh, that's going to solve our stone problems for quite a while, for some strange reason. I think we may have just made our uh, quarry obsolete, which means we don't need to work it quite so hard, at least until we start running out of stone. In fact, we can just empty it out. Get our building uh, builders on. And get all this stuff built. All right, we are at a population of 154, and we are running towards the end of this thing. So, in our next video, we are going to see if we can actually spend 1,200 units of stone. Holy crap! 
Um, and yeah, if you think we were accelerating building now, we are going to be accelerating with a capital A in our next video. So stay tuned. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and leave me a comment. Please do. I want to know how I'm doing. Um, and feedback from you is always appreciated. You can also follow me on Twitter at, at Pinstar. So until next time, this is Pinstar signing out. Have a good one, people.